a very effective safety procedure when working on hybrid electric vehicles and electric vehicles called the live dead live test. Let's just say you're going to remove a component that has high voltage cables going to it. And you've done the proper power down procedure, but you want to make sure that it did in fact power down the high voltage before you take these gloves off and start using tools to remove uh, various hardware to get components off the vehicle. What we're going to do is we're going to take our meter, we're going to turn it to DC. If the engine's not running, we're not producing any AC yet. So let's go ahead and turn the meter to DC, which it is right now, set to DC. And now we're going to check the meter to make sure it's working okay. Now I know that sounds kind of silly, but how many times have you accidentally had the meter in the wrong position? You had it on AC, you met DC, or you had it on ohms and you met volts, or maybe you forgot and you had it using as an ammeter yesterday and you had these leads in the wrong spot. So we don't want to make a mistake like that and see zero volts when we actually have high voltage underneath this cover. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a known good ground and we'll go to something we know is good power, like this jumper bar on this bus electrical center. And if we see 12 and a half volts, we know the meter is working. We don't have an auto ranging issue or connection or a fuse whatever, causing the meter to not function and show zero when it needs to be showing live voltage. So 12 volts is fine, that's harmless. I've removed the screws already on this generation three Prius inverter cover. And when I pull that cover off, now I've exposed potentially high voltage. Now with the system shut down, the power button's been switched off and that safety plug has been removed from the battery pack, this should be dead. But just to make sure it is, we made sure the meter's working, that's the live part. And now we're gonna move our hands over here and we're not going to use chassis ground because high voltage does not share the common chassis ground in the vehicle like the 12 volt system does. These two cables coming in under this orange conduit right here, one and two, those are the two terminals. That's your power and your negative, positive and negative, 200 and some volts from the battery pack if it were turned on, it's not. But to make sure it's not, I'm now going to, one at a time, one hand out, one hand in, I'm going to perform the other part of the live dead live test. This would be the dead test, hopefully. So now the other hand is out, one hand is in. Now we have good connection. We have 0.0, .0 volts in the meter. Now we go back to a live source once again, just to make sure nothing happened in that period of a few seconds. So back to my 12 volts in ground, the meter's working. Live, dead, live, this has been confirmed, this circuit is shut down.